Hey, it's Randy Burgoyne at impactization.com. Yesterday I showed you how to back up with iDrive, as in this video here. And so if you look back at the most recent video on impactization.com, you'll see how to install iDrive and how to set up a, a quick backup. Well, now I'm going to go one step further. Now that we've done that, I can show you how to add a sync folder to your computer through OneDrive. So I'm going to minimize this. And if you remember, we installed iDrive. And on the backup tab, we set up five different folders. And they're backing up just great. Shows me here that I have 22 gigabytes of data that I'm backing up. So that's awesome. So now we're going to show you how to set up a sync folder. If you click on the sync, you'll see that you can set up and define one folder where that is, where that data is going to be saved, and it can be synchronized across all your devices. And those are files that you can share as well to other individuals. Now these are, while this is sharing the same data pool on the iDrive data center, they are kept separate so that you have your backup and you have your sync folder, okay? Now, um, all I have to do is click go to my sync folder and it opens up, and if you'll notice on my quick access bar on the left, I've got iDrive Sync as one of the folders, and that was set up here. Okay, so users, Rand B, iDrive Sync. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you'll see that I've saved some files here. Some are, are large, some are not so big. I saved one here in my documents just a few minutes ago called test to sync to iDrive. And I'm gonna create another one and show how fast it is. Okay, now these are just tiny files. There's not much there, but at least it shows you that they're talking to each other. <clears throat> now this is a mirror of my smartphone screen, my Android device. And I'm gonna open up the iDrive online app and it's going to come up and show me um, how many files that I've got backed up right now. Now I don't have photos and videos uh, backup turned on yet but I'm, I'm going to. But this is total in all of my devices that I've got. Well if you click on the little menu and go to sync you'll get the same view of the folders that you do in your iDrive folder I'll show you that so here's ISO my documents music videos read me text and a veeam agent that I have uh, uploaded to send to somebody okay now what we did is we went into my documents we created a little test file okay and as you'll notice the green ones are already sent those are synchronized it says yep I see that it's up on the iDrive data center and it's synchronized. This one with the blue is waiting to be synchronized. Okay. And it will show up here in just a few minutes. But uh, let me go back to iDrive Sync and show you a folder that I sent, a file that I sent to a customer yesterday. Actually, it was just this morning. So I could, I can have this huge file. It's, um, what was it? 3.3 gigabytes in size, which is impossible to send over email. So the only way to send that is by a link to a shared folder. So I'm going to right click on there and I'm going to see there's an iDrive. I've got a lot of other stuff installed here. But look for the iDrive icon and say, I want to share this file. It's going to open it into the web console, automatically launch it there, and give you a place to invite people. This is very similar to Dropbox or Google Drive, how you can invite people. Well, I'm going to invite John Doe at we're going tech.com. Here's the file. It is huge. And we'll 
take a file to download. Okay. I send that email and they're going to get a link that simply says click here to download the file and it'll come up into a similar window to this. You can right click and download it to your device. <clears throat> Very nice to be able to send large files to other users. Now, if we go back to my documents, you'll see that that test to sync is finished. If I come over here and I don't see it yet, I can always click on the little menu and say refresh. And there's test to sync. So after a few minutes, it will automatically synchronize. Now with larger files, it'll take a little bit longer, but that's how you create a sync folder with iDrive and be able to share files with others, uh, large files in particular, that are difficult to send any other way. So I hope this has been helpful. Please be sure to go to Impactization to sign up for iDrive. That way we get a little something for our efforts and, and showing you the iDrive. And be sure to like and share and subscribe wherever you see our videos. Thanks.